Hello everyone, welcome on this channel. We will be discussing about the important concept of the straight line that what is the distance between a point and a line. It's a very important concept. Every year JWE do ask questions on the basis, not directly, but they do ask questions on the basis of it. Okay. So in this video, I'm going to give you the detailed description, detailed analysis. Uh, in detail, we will derive this formula, which is very important because this derivation, this technique which I'm going to use in this video will be useful in many other concepts and many other questions. So listen, watch it carefully, check out the description box because there I have mentioned uh, links. One of the link is of the test series which you guys can join and prepare for your JWE mains, advanced, bit set and many other study engineering and examination. So you guys, let's start and listen to this video very carefully. So the thing is, we wanted to calculate distance between a line, distance between a line and point. Okay, that's the whole agenda of this session. Now, this is a line. Let's say the equation of line is ax plus by plus c is equal to zero, which is general form of general equation of line. Let's say I wanted to calculate the distance of the point P comma Q from the line. Now, very first thing which came in my mind ki, which distance we are talking about because this is also a distance, this is also a distance, this is also a distance. So by default, we are calculating the minimum distance between a point, between a point and a line, which is the perpendicular distance. Always keep in mind, minimum distance is what we need to calculate until and unless they are not saying anything i hope it's clear now one thing that you need to know that since this is perpendicular so let's call this is line l1 and let's say this is line l2 now line l1 is perpendicular to line l2 and what you need to know if two lines are parallel then multiplication of their slope is equal to minus one that you should know about it all right now question is what is the slope of this line one is directly i can write down that m1 is equal to minus times of coefficient of x divided by coefficient of y if you do not know then convert this line in the slope intercept form which means i can write on vy and transfer ax on the other side which become minus ax and C on the other side, which become minus C. And then divide by B. So BY divided by B is Y. And minus AX divided by B is minus A by B into X minus C by B. Guys, this is similar to Y is equal to MX plus C form. So coefficient of X in this form gives you the slope. Okay. Or directly you can say in the general form, AX plus BY plus C slope is minus times the coefficient of X upon coefficient of Y. Now, we are saying over here it is minus a by b no problem multiply slope of second line l2 we need to calculate slope of it now question is how we will do it so i will assume the point lambda uh, uh, this point is lambda okay x coordinate is lambda now this point lies on the this particular point which is also called as foot of perpendicular foot of perpendicular okay now this foot of perpendiculars x coordinate is lambda which lie on the line ax plus by plus c so in place of x i will write down lambda so a lambda plus by plus c my intention is to calculate y coordinate of foot of perpendicular all right so i will write on by plus by is equal to minus a lambda minus c and from here we will have y is equals to minus a lambda minus c upon b so guys, we have calculated the foot of perpendiculars x coordinate I have assumed and calculated this as minus a lambda minus c by b which is y coordinate. Now, the distance between point, let's call it point P, let's call it point, let's call it point A, let's call it point B. Distance between A, B is what we wanted to do. What is the distance formula? So distance A, B is equal to under root of square of difference of the x coordinate which is p minus okay t minus lambda whole square okay 
सो पी माइनस लेमडा होल स्क्वायर प्लस डिफरेंस ऑफ द वाई कॉर्डर अंडर रूट ऑफ एक्स टू माइनस एक्स वन स्क्वायर प्लस वाई टू माइनस वाई वन स्क्वायर वट इज वाई कॉर्डर क्यू माइनस वट इज वाई कॉर्डर माइनस ए लेमडा माइनस सी बाई बी एंड वी विल टेक होल स्क्वायर ऑफ दिस ऑल नाउ वी कैन सॉल्व दिस फर्दर बट वन मोर थिंग दैट वी हैव टू टेक केयर दैट हियर वी आर एक्सपेक्ट वी वी जस्ट हैव सेट दैट पपेंडिकुलर दे आर पपेंडिकुलर लाइन्स so over here we wanted to check that minus um what should i write down over here slope now what is the slope of this line that's what we had to calculate okay slope of this line is m2 which is equal to minus 1 so from here we can say slope m2 is equal to if we cross multiply minus minus and cancel we will have p by a okay now what um now over here yes we have calculated b by a now what how we'll calculate the slope this one delta y upon delta x okay so we'll write down slope m2 is equal to b by a but it's delta y delta y is q minus of minus ab or minus a lambda minus c upon b okay uh divided by p minus lambda that's our slope so if you'll cross multiply this what we are going to have let's do it and we'll find out very interesting thing we will have p b by a into p minus lambda is equal to q minus of minus becomes plus so i will write down like this now q plus a lambda plus c by b now cross multiply a also so we will have bp minus b lambda is equal to a q plus a square plus c a by b and lambda is over here all right and now similar way you will cross multiply b over there so we will have b square p this one cross multiply b square p minus b square lambda is equal to a b into q plus a square lambda plus a c okay this is just calculation over here now from here let's keep this both the terms together so what we are going to have uh, b square p minus ab q minus ac is equal to a square plus b square times of lambda and from here i have calculated the value of lambda is equal to b square p minus ab q Minus a c divided by a square plus b square. Okay, this is what we have got. And now I am going to substitute this in this equation. Okay, so what is the equation? Equation is the distance formula is p minus lambda whole square plus q minus of minus a lambda minus c. So minus of minus become plus. and guys over here i would write down this as half if i will show it over here this is equal to b by a times of p minus lambda all right so i will directly and from where we have this m1 m2 equal to minus 1 so what is the value of this part b by a into p minus lambda okay so i will have ab is equal to p minus lambda whole square plus b by a into p minus lambda whole square all right i will take p minus lambda whole square let me check yes it's working p minus lambda whole square and we will have 1 plus b by a whole square all right now we will have p minus lambda mod into a square plus b square root over it and root of a square is a again mod which we needed what is p minus lambda for that we need to have lambda what is lambda lambda is over here b square p minus ab q b square p minus ab q minus ac by a by let me check it's a square plus b square i guess we are about to get the answer all right mod and divide by a it's over here from here and multiply root of a square plus b square and i guys we are on the last step now cross multiply this with this we will have a square p plus b square p 
Now minus into this minus b square p plus a b q plus a c divide by a square plus b square multiply a and outside there is a root of a square plus b square. Okay, this cancel with this and cancel a. So it will become a p plus a b q by a is b q plus a c by a is c divide by now a square and under root a square b square under root a square plus b square cancelled out with a square plus b square which is this that's our formula now what is p p is the x coordinate okay let's call it x1 what is b uh, what is q q is the y coordinate so i'll substitute back like this so that it will be easier sorry by one plus c divide by under root a square plus b square and that's our distance formula i hope you guys love this and i will show you the website which i was talking about so it's over here okay so you have to open jwtestprep.com go over here you will explore 40000 questions uh 1200 tests so you can go like this you can click anywhere anywhere but you will click anywhere on the engineering test you will reach out to the same page it is having topic wise PYQ, it is having mock test, topic wise test, sectional test, previous question papers. If you will take one year uh, package, you will be having 70 rupees discount, which will cost you 35 double zero. So go for it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the session. See you all and let me know in the comment box what next video you want to do. Have a good day.